Hi everybody, this is Trukanex and in today's video I want to speak to you about the Drush. For those of you who don't know, Drush stands short for Dark Rush. A Dark Rush is when a player decides to attack during the Dark Age with militias and his scout. I will now teach you guys how to know your opponent is planning on rushing you, how to react and adapt to that information, and of course how to defend and survive the Dark Rush. Let's go! The first clue of an incoming Drush is to scout your opponent's Lumberjacks in the early Dark Age. If you count four of them, a Drush is likely to happen because this fourth villager is probably there to get him enough food for the early barrack. To be sure that a Dark Rush is coming, you want to scout his main gold pile at around 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Check every tile there should be 10 gold missing in one of them. He will use it to create the third militia. Scouting a barrack also strongly indicates a rush is on the way. Once you know that you will get rushed, the first thing to do is to try to advance to the field village. 21 pop if that is still possible. Advancing to the field village with 21 pop instead of 22 will save you 25 seconds. Therefore, you will build your stable and start making more scouts 25 seconds faster, which is essential to fight a rush. You will only send 9 villagers to wood instead of 10 and make one single farm instead of 2. This obviously applies for a scout rush build. If you know that a rush is coming but you still haven't found the barrack yet, you will need to do so quickly. It is probably been built in the forward position towards your base. Once you've found it, you just want to stay on the lookout with your scout and wait for the militias to come out of it. Just be careful that you won't get hit when they do. When they do come out, you just want to keep following them as they walk to your base. Don't come too close or you could get hit, but pay, pay attention to always have them in sight. This way, you will know for sure from where they are planning to attack you, and so you won't get taken by surprise. Let's talk about your scout for a bit. Um, in every single game, but especially when you know that you will get rushed, you want to keep your scout alive at all costs. Not only this, but you also want to keep him full HP as much as possible. This uh, scout is the only unit that you will have in the Dark Age and the early Feudal Age to defend with, so it is very precious. So pay attention not to lose it to the enemy town center, for example. When you will reach the Fear Edge, your scout will instantly receive a plus 2 attack bonus. And it will also start to run faster. Your opponent will still be in the Dark Edge due, due to his rush, so it will make your scout a pretty nice asset to defend with. So we have seen how important it is to keep your own scout alive, but it is also quite important if you do get the occasion that you try and damage the enemy scout. So if he ventures too close of your lumberjacks or your berries villager, try to give him a few hits. If your scout is full HP and his is not, it will be much easier for you to win the upcoming drush. If you get lucky and he doesn't pay enough attention, 
You might even get to kill his cat with your turn center. This will give you a huge advantage as he will only be left with 3 militia to realize his drush. Okay, now let's see how to defend when the Drush is in our base. At first, we only have one scout, so we don't want to to engage. You just want to to hit and run because remember you are running faster because you're fielder. Just try to lure him back under your turn center so you can get free hits on him. And you want to uh, keep following him so you can be ready to defend when finally attacks you have two scouts now but it is still not enough so still eating and running trying to lure him back to the town center if he comes to close of your villagers on the wood you can take them off and start attacking with them but don't follow him for too long if he's running away Okay, the scout is away, so we can pick off a militia. And running away with the unit he's focusing on. We now have four scouts, so we can take the fight and finish him off. Always try to kill the scout first. And then you can just finish the militias off. So never forget to keep building villagers and uh, making farms. You don't, you need not to stop to make Moriko. In the previous clip, the Drosh was a bit late, so we did not see how to fight with the villagers. We will see it now. First, do not panic. Uh, second, just uh, focus one of his units down with your villagers. You can start with the uh, scout if you can, it's always better. Uh, when one of your villagers is uh, running out of HP, just without panicking, you send, him, you send him back to the town center. Do not ring the bell, please. Uh, do not send them back also to the wood line or they will die. Just keep uh, fighting all of his units one by one and, f and focus on one with all of your villagers. If he is running away when you are fighting him, just uh, don't follow him, just go back to uh, taking wood and you can hit him again when he comes back. Always target the weak militia first, like I just did. And still running away when your villager is about to die. If he comes too close from the town center, just fire at him and kill him. Also, another way that you can use to defend yourself is the quick wall. Basically, when you see him coming uh, close to your villagers with his army, you just uh, quickly make some palisade wall. You don't even have to uh, build them entirely. You just have to uh, drop the foundation and then you can uh, just gather wood in peace. He won't hurt you. That's a pretty good technique if you don't have any army yet. It can give you some time. Or maybe if uh, you have an army, but you uh, sent it straight away to uh, his base and you're doing some damage and in the meantime he's in your base and he cannot do any damage. You can do it also with your berries. When you see him uh, coming towards you, you just, you, just, you just quick wall. And obviously that also works on the gold. It is even easier if you know how to place your, your uh, mining camp in a good way. Just need to be a bit uh, reactive with uh, that technique and once you see him you just quickly drop some palisade. Ok guys, this was my tutorial on how to spot and defend the drush. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments down below. I hope you liked it and I will be back very soon for another video.